In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, so to better celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our need for God's forgiveness and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs St. Andrew Kim, Taigon, and his companions a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am writing you, although I hope to visit you soon. But if I should be delayed, you should know how to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of truth. Undeniably great is the mystery of devotion, who was manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed to Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, taken up in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial can be found on page 298. How great are the works of the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. How great are the works of the Lord. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. How great are his works in the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. How great are the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine, 
and you said he is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. The saints that we celebrate today, St. Andrew Kim, Taigon, and Paul Chong and companions, are Korean saints, Korean martyr saints, that a lot of us struggle with or don't necessarily know their story. Andrew Kim was the first Korean priest, and he became and became a priest and received his training through an underground system that he made that he was 1,500 miles away from Korea. And it was in China where he received formal studies. However, even before he had the inclinations or the longing to be a priest, in 1577, when Christian Japanese soldiers invaded Korea, because Korea was a place of, ho of hostile, uh, hostile environment, that the outside world wasn't allowed in. But it was through Christian Japanese soldiers that first brought Christianity to the land of Korea, to the nation of Korea. And for 200 years, Christianity seemed to flourish. By those early evangelizers, Christian soldiers, the Korean people understood and found out who God was, who this Jesus Christ was and what his message and what his promise was. And it wasn't until 1777 when the people of God and the people of Korea actually had their first priest. Paul Kim, or Andrew Kim, came back to Korea and it was something that, the missionary, that he himself and the other missionaries that accompanied him, they were astounded that even though Christianity had been there for 200 years, that there was a house church, that house churches were going on. The people of God were listening to scripture, were proclaiming scripture amongst themselves. They didn't have the understanding or the knowledge of sacraments or what it meant to live a sacramental life like we know today. But the faith was alive. The words of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord brought life to their community. And I think sometimes that's something that we ourselves can take advantage of or become blind to. How we're graced to experience the sacraments, how we're graced to experience our clergy, our religious, those that are in the church that help build up the church. But my brothers and sisters, the challenge is that it's not just priests, it's not just religious, but each one of us are called to be proclaimers and hearers of God's word. Paul Kim, Andrew Kim, Paul Chong, and companions, they were martyred for their faith. They were martyred because they stood for something that the nation wouldn't stand against. They professed their faith in the freedom that is found in Jesus Christ. May we not forget that the blood of martyrs gives life to the church. Just as Jesus nourishes us with his word and his sacrament, so too the grounds of our faith, the grounds of our church, are nourished by the people and the witnesses who have gone before us. May we be courageous and continue to share the life that Christ has called us to live with one another. Please stand. With hearts open to holy wisdom's call, let us present now our prayers of faith. That the baptized may welcome God's message in all who speak it, we pray to the Lord. Lord that nations may heed the prophets of peace sent to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord that the wisdom of the world's many religions may find faithful followers, we pray to the Lord. That the reflections of the sick may lead both 
broken and whole to wisdom, we pray to the Lord. For the intentions of this Mass, Sergio Martín del Campo, Luis Lorenzo Tobia, and Lorraine Griffin, we pray to the Lord. For each one of us gathered here that will be faithful and fearless leaders of the faith, sharing Christ's message to all those we meet and encounter, we pray to the Lord. For all of the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, God of insight, and open our hearts to your word. May the gospel's wisdom find a dwelling within us, and with all your children, we may praise you for your goodness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, Grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing and he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember Lord, remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, our Bishop, Michael and Gary, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Andrew and Saint Paul, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live, with, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.